My name is Dira Peraza. I'm a principal and creative director at HyperEct. We're a social impact design agency based in Brooklyn, New York. Basically, my partner and I were just out of school and did a lot of different kinds of work for different people over the years. And in about 2009, we decided that the work that we were most passionate about was work that had some sort of actual social meaning behind it. And so we focused all of our, our client work from that point forward on uh, social impact. Since then, we've uh, worked with large foundations, NGOs, UN agencies, academic institutions, government agencies, all with the ends of helping to communicate change, helping to communicate some of the ideas that these uh, organizations are pushing forward to improve people's lives, whether it's in education, in healthcare, in uh, poverty relief, we're here to help them tell their story. There's always an element of selling a brand. At the end of the day, you're putting a, 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 a new set of clothes on, on a set of ideas. And whether you're uh, talking about um, a, a new program to uh, promote vaccines or whether you're talking about a new car, you need to create a brand that gets people to pay attention and that gets people to believe and to trust and to engage. So I think the role of data science has changed over the last 10, 15 years predominantly because there's more data available, it's, it's easier to access on the internet and there's more, there's a push towards open source information and data and there's more computing power to process it. So there has been a change and I think it's a good change as long as it's being used appropriately. Uh, we did a project called the Refugee Project, um, which is actually a self-initiated project and it was using data from the UNHCR, which is the UN's refugee agency. It's 40 years worth of refugee migration data. It gets very granular. All the movements tracked from one country to another that, that people were forced to take due to conflict. Being able to use that data and put it on a map and visualize it and contextualize it with stories of why those movements happen, marrying those, those elements together creates a really powerful education and learning tool. If you have the data just in a spreadsheet, it's pretty boring to look at and it's hard to really connect with real world events. But when you start visualizing that data in ways that are much uh, more immediate for people to process, and you, can, and you put it next to stories that are much more relatable, all of a sudden you have sort of this uh, much more powerful combination of, of, of media working together.